Greetings, New Seasons. This is Pastor Ron. Uh, just want to let everyone know that I uh, really miss you guys and uh, looking forward to the time where we can get back together again. Uh, I've been trying to make phone calls and texts and uh, to stay in touch as much as I can. And I want to let you know that uh, Janice and I are, are praying for you and uh, we love you very much. Just wanted to take a few minutes to share a thought with you. My devotional scripture this week has come from Hebrews chapter 11. Uh, we know that as the, the faith chapter. And uh, if there is one thing that is certain in these uncertain times is that those of us that know Christ, we have to hold on to our, our faith. Let's just say a word of prayer. Father, thank you for this time to share just a thought, just an encouragement with your people, Lord. Uh, bless every household, bless every person, bless everyone to, uh, who would uh, look at this video and see this video, and we pray that they would gain, gain some peace and encouragement from it. For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, in Hebrews chapter 11, verse number 1, very familiar passage of Scripture, it says, Now faith is the confidence in what we hope for and the assurance about what we do not see. And then in the ESV, it says, Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for and the conviction of things not seen. And I want to show you two phrases in this passage as it relates to faith. And uh, I think it's important at this hour that all of us that are believers, those of us who've accepted Christ as our Lord and Savior, it's so important that you hold on to your faith. Uh, I know these are uncertain. I know that these are scary times and we can look at the news. We can look at, look at uh, program after program about the coronavirus, all the facts, all the figures. Uh, we can look at the, the headlines and uh, one group is pointing at this group and what this group didn't do and what this group should have done. And it can be very, very unsettling. But this short message is about encouraging you to hold on to your faith. Let me read that Hebrews 11.1 uh, 1 in the ESV again. And it says, Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for and the conviction of things not seen. So two critical, critical elements of faith in this chapter one, uh, I would say definition or description of faith is things hoped for. And the second phrase or the second element that we want to look at is things not seen. So when we talk about faith, faith and hope go together. It says, so faith is the assurance of things that we are hoping for. Now, we're all hoping for a, a speedy resolution to this pandemic where we're praying and hoping that scientists or doctors or someone will come up with a, with a, a, a cure. We're, we're hoping that we can get back to our, our jobs soon. We hope that we can get back to our lives. We hope that we can get back to our our church and our ministries and our daily, our daily walk, our daily things that we've been doing uh, for years and years, for months and months. So part of our faith is the hoping for this resolution. But then it says another element of faith is things not seen. And in these certain times, uh, no one really has all the answers. Uh, no government has the answer, no doctor, physician, the CDC doesn't have all the answers, and no government, no city, no township, no county has all the answers. So our faith is based on our assurance of our God being able to handle the situation. He is at this moment and every moment in full control. He is the only one that knows where it came from, how it got started, when it's going to be done, what its effects going to be. But I want to encourage you with this word that says that uh, all things work together for good for those who love the Lord, the called according to his purpose. You can have faith that uh, he will never leave us or forsake us, that he will supply all of our needs. 
Yes, these are uncertain times. But I want you to hold on to your faith. Yes, we don't see it yet. Yet we don't know we don't have it yet. But we still hope for it. We still trust that God's going to bring us through this because we believe his word. We believe in him. He's large and is in charge. Nothing surprises him. He is in complete, complete control. So we don't know exactly what's going to happen. We don't know when it's going to happen. But we have faith. We trust God that it, it will happen. And it will work out for the good of those who love him, called according to his purpose. This is what faith is about. Trusting God in uncertain times. Trusting that God's going to come through just like he has in the past. Trusting his timing. And trusting his will. Father, thank you for your people. Thank you for this short encouragement on faith. We ask that you would bless your people and keep them, Lord. Lord, let us be light and salt wherever we are. Let us show the love of Jesus. Lord, let us not be involved in hoarding or any of those things that the world is involved in. And Lord, let us not be afraid, but put our faith and our hope and our trust in you because you are in complete control. Father, we thank you, we love you, we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, New Caesars.